From KETK, you're watching East Texas Live. Welcome back to East Texas Live on KETK. Joining us now is Coleman Swartz. He is with the Better Business Bureau. And he's here to talk about how you can avoid getting scammed by door-to-door -door solicitors. And uh, unfortunately, that is something that happens all really, too often. It's the, the oldest style, style of salesmanship. Mm -hmm. You knock on a door of a home or a business and you say, we've got something to offer. The problem is, is that oftentimes what they're offering isn't legitimate. And right. if it is legitimate, maybe they don't have the best way of telling you um, it's absolutely le legitimate. So when someone knocks on your door, they have something, what do you need to do? So a couple things you need to look out for. Number one, and... and you know, there's a variety of things you can do. Number one, you want to make sure that you're not feeling pressured to buy something immediately. Just because I knock on the door and I say, I've got a heck of a deal for you, doesn't mean you have to buy it right now. This is kind of the bottom part there, the, the, the high pressure. Do not feel pressured. Um, and if they ever ask you to pay in full, that is a big red flag, especially if they ask for you to, for you to pay in full but they want to pay to you mm -hmm. or in cash. Yeah. Legitimate companies are not going to act like that. And the top line there, always look for branded materials. If I knock on your door, you should immediately know who I am. I should have company branded materials. I should be in a company car. I should be able to provide you with credentials that say I'm with so-and-so company and we're going door, and literally explain to you, and we're going door to door offering these services mm -hmm. and at that point at least you have an understanding of who they are they're not trying to immediately sell you something like you need this you need this you need this and remember folks just because they have a deal that you might actually want doesn't mean it's necessarily the best deal right so you know avoid any type of high sales tactics and certainly don't pay them in full right there on the spot even if they do have a deal that you sound like is very important and now unfortunately it's going to happen yeah. you know, people are going to come to your door yep. no matter what yep. uh, what are some ways that we can make sure that we protect ourselves when people do come to our doors okay so uh, piggybacking on what i just said uh, number one if you are going to pay for it Pay it with a credit card. We've talked about this before. Mm -hmm. Credit cards allow you to dispute the charges within a certain time frame. So if you feel like you've gotten scammed or fraud, um, that's okay. You can dispute it with a credit card. Uh, always deal with a local company. We cannot emphasize this enough. If they show up to your door and you can't tell who they are, they claim they're from Dallas, Houston, Austin, let's not deal with them. Uh, dealing with local companies, A, you can vet them a little bit more easier, uh, easily, and it helps the local economy. Like, that's just the way it is. Deal with the local company. And you need to be aware of uh, no solicitation so signs. I can't say that. No solicitation signs. Mm -hmm. A lot of communities in East Texas uh, require um, solicitors to be licensed and have credentials to even go door to door to knock and a lot of cities uh, recommend you put signs up if you have a sign that is clearly legible and clearly readable no solicitation uh, those show, those folks should not be in your community should not be in your uh, residential area uh, doing that so you have a right to immediately say look this is a no solicitation residential area go away mm -hmm. go away but if they do if they do have something you like and you do feel like it just take your time yeah. you don't have to buy it immediately do just research. take your time do a little research mm -hmm. then get back to them any reputable company is going to say you know what take your time we'd love to hear from you when you're ready right not necessarily when we're ready awesome and now one last thing if somebody maybe realizes they just fell for a scam a little too late correct what can they do okay does happen um, we deal with it all the time. If you felt like you have gotten scammed, you immediately need to contact your financial institution. If you pay, paid with a credit card, which we would recommend, mm -hmm. uh, contact your credit card company, your financial institution, let them know, and then let us know. And there are many ways that we can help. We can help not only you personally, hopefully get it resolved, but then let other people know, hey, this is happening in your specific area. Be very, very careful. But the first thing you want to do is contact your financial institutions. Let them know, hey, I think I've been a victim here. Let's put a stop to any more transactions that may or may not be happening uh, with my credit card or anything else that might have been stolen. But all this goes back to just take your time. Mm -hmm. Take your time. The deck, the roof, whatever they're offering won't be built in a day right. anyway. So just take your time. Think about it. Do your homework, then make a decision. All right, Coleman, great advice there. Thank you. You're and welcome. hopefully everyone at home soaked that in so yes. no one gets scammed yes. anymore. Yes, yes, yes. All right, we'll be back with more of